Welcome to episode 73 of Just One More Topic. I am Tridracius. I am Taborius. It's been a couple weeks since you've been on this show. I've been busy. Yeah. Doing stuff. A little busy. Things, man. A couple of things. A couple of things. S selling things and, yeah, I, and that sums up Tabor's life. So... There's not a whole lot of stuff going on right now as far as gaming news goes. We're oh, wait. still... No. Well, I mean, there's that real small event going on. I mean, uh, some of y'all might have heard of it. Uh, it's called the Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, it's going on. Uh, apparently, Sony decided to have their conference about two weeks before the conference. It was supposed to take place because um, Japan and times and stuff. But, oh, you know, man. Packed full of announcements like Dragon Quest Heroes and Persona 5 and Disgaea, yes! and Disgaea 5, both of which coming to the PS4. Um, and, of course, they talked more about Assassin's Creed Unity, Destiny. Yeah, more. more. Did, they use, did they actually use the Tears for Fear song this time? I don't no. know. I am I, not letting that go. That was terrible. And I, th I don't even remember which one it was now. Was it Lord's cover of... Which she's a good artist and does. Never mind. Not important. It happened months ago, um, but I didn't really pay any attention to Assassin's Creed Unity because let's face it, it's like the seventeen thousandth release in Assassin's Creed's story, and you can only do so much with the assassins and Templars. Um, which apparently, I. In other news, Sega and Gearbox are at each other's throats because of aliens, colonial marines. Yeah. Okay. Those of you that don't remember it, which if you don't, God has blessed you in many ways. Uh, it was a farce. It was uh, horrible. I mean, they, they were getting sued because of, I mean, false advertising from the demo versus what the actual game which was. Which was shit. Oh my, yeah, it was terrible, and you know, absolute and, shit. And those of you that don't know them, Gearbox doesn't make it was shit. Gearbox doesn't make shit. Now, when they get handed shit, you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. Now, here's one of the, the the things that was very interesting. A month ago, Sega was like, "Okay, fine, you guys, we don't have the time to fight this argument. We don't have time to fight the plaintiffs on the lawsuit of the false advertising." The and they were going to settle outside of court with the plaintiff and just pay the fees, which would essentially place Gearbox all alone to fight this battle themselves, and Randy Pitchford was like, no, you fuckers, <laughs> that's not going to happen. The hell you say. So while Sega was just like, okay, well, we're going to pay and, and just put it behind us and move forward, Randy came out and decided, nope, it is all Sega's fault, publicly stating that Sega as a publisher, they're supposed to to not allow this stuff to happen. Well, not to mention it was also Sega that enlisted the deadlines and the budget long before mm. it ever got into Gearbox's hands. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Sega was at the point where it's just like, I mean, we, Gearbox we need had this a, game out. We need to get this off of our portfolio. How long did they have it? A year? Two years? Tops? I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. Gearbox is, the, you know... They're a talented developer. But here's another interesting tidbit of the new lawsuit between Sega and Gearbox. Sega is claiming that Gearbox, under leadership of Randy Pitchford, took money and resources that was meant for Aliens Colonial Marines to work on the Borderlands games. The hell you say? Really? Yes. Which... Money well spent, if it's true, because... And... Borderlands? Colonial... It's that way. Very yeah. far down. Hell is in hell. Yeah. Get, into, get into Minecraft and dig straight down for Ever. three and a half weeks. Ever. You'll, you'll forever. There. Dig forever. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. It really um, is bad. But the thing is, Borderlands 1 and 2 were being developed concurrently with Aliens Colonial Marines. But again, Gearbox did not have Aliens Colonial Marines True. at the beginning. I mean, Colonial Marine, I mean, it, it, it's almost, it almost went to like StarCraft Ghost levels or duke nukem remake levels of like how yeah. long is this going to take and that was kind of the gag when it was given to gearbox because they had already finally said you know what screw it we're going to finish duke nukem all right yeah. fine let's do colonial marines you know it had been out i mean we're talking years and years of this new aliens game very new dealing with 
colonies and marines. Luckily, Valve opted to pick up the sequel. They're calling it Evolve. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with Evolve. But, you know, it's very, very interesting. Like, this uh, Sega and Gearbox, what's going to happen post these lawsuits? What, oh, you know, There's you know, a bunch of speculation and stuff. I guarantee, well, it's, Gearbox will be fine. Okay, like there's just they are too well known in the community, in the industry, and in everything else. I mean, nobody is looking at Gearbox going, "Hey, you screwed up." And okay, did they embezzle funds? I have no idea because that's yeah. what we're talking about here. Yeah, Sega basically they were wanting to be done with the entire lawsuit with the plaintiff, and was just like, "We're going to pay." Gearbox was like, "Well, no, you're not leaving us to, to out deal to with dry. this." Yeah. And so they then launched a lawsuit against Sega, claiming that Sega is all at fault for this entire thing. And then Sega fought back with, okay, we were planning on letting this die. Children, this is basically the uh, high school adult version of, of high school throwing sand at each other on the playground. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Until You smell funny. Sure comes in with a giant wooden paddle, and I went mm -hmm. to Catholic schools. So I... hmm. Were there holes? No speed holes. Thank God. Okay. So that's some of the lawsuit news going on. Um, In other news, I'm getting sued for assault. About now. Okay. Ah. <laughs> um, Destiny's coming out next week. Oh, no. Yeah. The 9th, Tuesday. Yep. Holy God. It's oh. a brand new franchise. Brand new. It's Halo. With Borderlands. Halo Lands. Border Low. Sweet and Low. Borderlands? No. Sweet and Low. Yeah. Halo uh, Lands. Yeah, we'll um, go with that. Now, Halo there Lands. there has been some slight speculation about Halo how... Lands. Now, the game's going to be amazing. You're going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. He's going to buy it. That guy's going to buy it. That dude over there. That girl over there. Yeah. Hey, there's a girl the over The dog. Here. The dog will buy it. Anyway. It's That's got not a nice to call Raymond a dog. He's not. I just thought he so, was trained, really. Oh. Uh, anyway, no, so it's going to be an awesome game. There has been some speculation that if the uh, the content of the game, they said, was about 10%. Okay, well, if that's the case, there has been some speculation about how much MMO content is really going to be available. you got people saying, hey, I finished all the story missions in an hour. But then again, it's also an MMO. It's not as simple. Anybody who's ever played one, it's not as simple as playing through the story missions. Yep. Uh, then there's the whole, yes, there is planned DLC. And for the love of God, people stop bitching about it. All they do is bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You want it to go away? Quit fucking buying it. Yeah. It has become the standard. Games come out with planned DLC now. Okay, day one DLC. God, we've talked. Jesus, we've talked about this before. It's shitty, but they do it, and you people buy it. Because you buy it. You people buy it. I buy it. Yeah, like, you people buy it. Yeah. But, like, it just... It, stop bitching about it. You want to make a statement? Don't buy it. But guess what? Not going to matter, because plenty of people are going to buy it. They're going to keep fucking doing it. Because people bought all the fucking horse armor for Oblivion shut up, way I back bought, I bought in... that damn horse exactly. armor. Exactly. You shut your mouth, son. What, 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 it's what, horse what was it? armor! What was it? Like, what, $15? To be fair, I bought the horse armor as part of the whole DLC pack, not, like, just by itself. I can't, don't look at my Xbox Live purchase history. Don't do it. Or your Smite purchase history, because, oh. Shut up, it is not my fault they instituted gambling and collecting. Okay, I am a weak man. I have see, no willpower. See, it works. Oh, look this, at that, we're out of time. We should totally stop talking about this and move the hell on. So, yeah, <laughs> this is why it happens. This is exactly why it happens, <laughs> because people buy it what's that people that play games are into instant gratification the hell you say as you're opening a treasure chest which you Speaking have to of spend which, i have to check my balance on my card to... <laughs> so uh, this was an interesting it was a fun episode good times episode of things yes uh i am trijacius i am taborius yes you are and yes you are september 15th the first episode of glitched comes to just one more level and yeah i'm just hearing about this too so yeah boof
I think that you, means goodbye. You wins this game. I, I, I'm killing it. Hmm. We're done here. Okay. That Crap. Didn't, that, didn't, that didn't do anything. <sighs> Look, I don't care what you or anyone else says. It's a valid point. Oh, hi. Welcome to episode 73 of Just One More Topic. I am Tridracius. And I am Taborius. I'm trying to spin you. But I don't want to. I don't care. Okay. okay. And this is, okay.